Hi friends, today we're gonna to read a story called Apples, Apples Everywhere. We've been reading a story about apple farmer Annie and how she grows apples and she takes them to the market. This story is gonna tell us just a little bit more about how that apple farm works. On the front of this, I see a wheelbarrow where they can move the apples around. Baskets, just like apple farmer Annie puts her apples in a basket. And look at this wagon that is pulling boxes of apples. Let's find out how we harvest the apples. Apples, Apples Everywhere by Robin Coons. Plants are turning brown. The air smells fresh and it feels a little chilly. Looks like this family's coming to the apple farm maybe to pick some apples. It says summer is almost over. It's time to pick apples. At the apple orchard, trees sag with ripe fruit. Look at all the fruit on those apple trees. Remember that an orchard is a group of fruit trees, so she, they have lots of fruit trees, just like apple farmer Annie. The kids say, wow, look at all the apples. And the apple farmer says, welcome to our apple farm, apple harvest. Apples come in shades of red or yellow or green. Apples can be as small as a cherry or as large as a grapefruit. Wow. The little girl says, wow, that's a huge one. And the boy says, I got it. In the orchard, people are busy picking and packing apples. See? Fruit ladders help workers reach the apples high in the tall trees. They have a ladder that they climb on. Can you see the ladders? And the farmer says, we need a lot of help in the autumn, which is another name for fall. That's the time of year that it is. And the little girl says, ooh, we could eat some of those. So she thinks she could help by eating some of the apples. So here she is, she's balancing the apples. And she and the worker tell, or the farmer tells her an apple rots quickly when it's bruised, so we don't want to drop our apples because then they get yucky. And the worker says, Don't drop that apple. She's balancing it on her head. Workers put the apples in boxes. And it's best to store apples in a cool place. Look, he's taking it into the barn. He's got an apple barn. That's a place where it's dark and cool so the apples will stay fresh for us to get at the grocery store. Apple worms live in some apples. Apple worms are really moth caterpillars. The caterpillar eats the seeds and the fruit. Later, they squirm their way out. And the farmer says, what's worse than finding a worm in your apple? And the boy says, finding only half a worm. And the little girl says, yuck. Some apples taste tart. People like to use them for baking pies. The little girl says, I like the sour ones. And the boy says, then pucker up. Sweet, crunchy apples are best for munching. Apples can also be used for games. He says, let's bob for apples. And we can bob for apples because they float. See the game that they're playing? They put the apples in a bucket of water and they put their hands behind their back and they bend over and try to get an apple with just their mouth. That's called bobbing for apples because the apples are floating on the water. Cider is made from apples. First, the fruit is crushed. So they put it in here and they crush it. And then the apple juice is squeezed and it pours into the bucket. We saw apple farmer Annie with an apple cider press. She also made apple cider. The boy says, what is that sweet smell? And the girl says, apple cider. People have harvested apples for thousands of years. It's fun to celebrate the apple harvest with others. So see, they're all getting together. To harvest the apples means to pick them from the trees. And then you can make apple cider. Looks like they made some caramel apples and an apple pie. Looks like they're having a really fun time today at the apple farm. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed the story, Apples, Apples Everywhere, learning about how we get apples from the trees so that we can use them to bake things and to eat them. Have a nice day.